Welcome back again. Now in this video, we're going to be talking about the geo database. So right now I have the maps of three countries open here to be more precise, the shape files of three countries open here. So the blue one here is Pakistan and the greenish one is of India and the sun colored or the yellowish one is of Bangladesh. So to say the Indo Pak area here. So if I, when I had to open it, I had to go to the BDG ADM. There we go. From there, I had to open up the BGD ADM zero. Here it is the BGD ADM zero. Then I had to go to the IND ADM file to open the IND ADM zero. Here it is IND ADM zero. And then I had to go to the PAK ADM file to open up PAK ADM zero. Here is PAK ADM zero. Now, if you're working on a big project and then if the project needs a lot of revisions, so when you have a lot of files here, uh, you can say that these files are well organized and named properly, but you have uh, a lot of files that has been generated from your work and you cannot find the ones, the latest ones that you need to work with, or you have to send the latest ones to your let's just say to your uh, superior or to your junior or your subordinate or your student to work with then what you can do is you can take the help of a geo database file where you will have the latest and the updated only files that you require and there are maybe other scenarios where you can use the geo database file to only put the uh, files you require in that place from a lot of files okay so those are the uses of the geo database file. Now let's take a look how we can do that. Now to first do that, I'm going to remove all of the maps. There we go. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take the help of our Arc catalog. Remember we talked about the Arc catalog, the other part of ArcGIS. There we go. Let's go to Arc catalog. Let's open that up. It may take a while if you have a slow PC like my one, mine. There we go. Now I'm not going to be using that. Let's just minimize it. First, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add, give, uh, add data. There we go. Now we're going to go to where our files are. There we go. Now we're going to create a geo database file here. Now, how you can create a geo database file is you can see this icon here, right? That is the geo database. If you click here, a new file of geo database will be created here. There we go. We have a new file geo database. Now I'm going to give it a name. Let's call it the Indo Park work all right there we go now we have named it it is called indo park work now i'm going to cut that down and i'm going to go to our uh, our catalog i'm just going to refresh it there we go now we have the indo park work here the g dot g g g d g sorry about that. the dot gdb file geo database file now i'm going to do a right click on that and you'll see uh, import option here now in import option you'll see different options so it says feature class single meaning you can import a single shape file if you use this option and then you have the feature class multiple meaning if you use this option you can uh, import a multiple shape files all together into this geo database file then we have table single table multiple and then the raster data sets so when uh, type says raster data sets it directly means to the raster files and when something says feature classes you will have to assume that it is talking about the shape files because shape files have features where raster files don't have features they have points or pixels all right Okay, so I'm going to click on the feature class multiple because I have to take in three files. Now this window will pop up. Now you can either put in the feature names, which I cannot do because I don't remember the full names of the features. So I'm going to click on this folder icon to import them from the folders. Now I go to BGD ADM. I take BGD ADM zero, give it an add. It may take a while if you have a low power PC like my one. <laughs> I, I keep I keep on saying that right sorry about that now let me again click on that one then we go back we go to int adm and take int adm zero click on add it's been added then we go back again and then we go sorry about that we're going to stay here go back and pak adm and take pak adm zero click on add now as you can see three of our files has been listed here just click on ok it may take a while to import those files there so you just need to let your software work on it. All right. When you think it is done, just minimize the Arc catalog. Come back here on ArcGIS. Give a refresh here. 
on catalog here sometimes it requires a refresh sometimes it does not now it says feature class 2 geo database has been completed now i can go to our here we go indo park work gdb there we go we have the three files now i can choose the three files all together and click on add and voila three files are here opened now some of you may think why go through this uh, all this trouble to create a geo database file and then import them from here instead we could have just done it from here but the scenario might not be the same always as i have said in the beginning we have we might may face different types of scenarios when we will be forced to use the geo database files when we have a lot of files with a lot of data for example if i add the population data to three three of these files and then if i add the population data of the of the previous years to three of the similar files then you need to know which file contains which data and if you put them together you can put them together in a folder as well but if you put them together in a geo database file it will be easy for you to handle it will be easy for you to transfer to another person to another software sorry not a software to another pc it will be easier for you okay so that is the purpose of the geo database one of the purposes of geo database well i don't know all of the purposes to be honest it's a big software a lot of possibilities are here okay so that was about it for this video i hope you got to learn something new and as always thank you very much for watching if you have found the video to be useful please like and consider subscribing to the channel as it will enable me to make more videos like this one thank you